The Republic Day of India is the day we celebrate the day on which the Constitution of India came into effect on 26 January 1950. Today I thought of giving you a short reflection of the preamble to the Constitution of India. Crumbs from Jalad. The preamble is the soul of the Constitution. It presents the core values and principles of the Constitution on a single page. India is a sovereign. Its destiny will no longer be controlled by any foreign power. It is a democracy. It will have a government chosen by its people. It is a republic. The ruler will not be born into power in the way of kings and queens, but will have to be elected by the people. Socialist. The government must commit to ensuring a decent standard of living for all citizens. It must protect them from hunger and joblessness and ensure equal and affordable education, health care and housing to decent work and social protection. Secular. This means that the government will neither practice nor propagate any particular religion. The government will not discriminate in any way between people on the basis of their religion. Justice. It means that people will not face discrimination in society because of their religion, caste, gender, sexuality or disability. Liberty. It speaks of freedom of thought, expression and belief. Every citizen is free to think, speak and believe in ideas which may not conform to the views of the government in power or of the majority of the people. The Constitution also importantly assures the freedom of faith and worship. It allows people not just to follow but also to propagate their faith. Equality. The Constitution recognizes us all to be equal in fundamental ways. We are equal in human dignity and human worth. It is because of this inherent intrinsic equality that a government should ensure equality of opportunity. Fraternity. Though we might have enormous differences in wealth, gender, caste, religion, language, ability, the color of our skin, but despite all these differences, we are bound to each other. We are not one country because we are alike. We are one country because despite every difference, we are brothers and sisters all. Dr. Ambedkar rightly said, that the most important idea in the Constitution was the idea of fraternity.